Andrew from the Doherty Art School. Today I'm going to show you how to make a craft using books. For these projects, you're going to need an old paperback and hardback book. Sometimes you can find old ones for free at thrift stores. You'll also need a pencil, a ruler, scissors, and maybe rubber bands or a clamp. First, we're going to start out with an easy folding method. Take the top right corner and fold it down to the center of the book so that it makes a triangle. Turn the page, take the bottom right corner, fold it up to the center, forming another triangle. Keep folding like this, alternating between the top and bottom corners each time until you finish folding all the pages in the book. When you're all done, you should end up with something like this. I like to use mine to display postcards. Now we're going to move on to a more challenging book folding project. For this one, I created my own stencil. First, I measured the length and width of the side of the book. Then I found an outline of texts and resized it in Photoshop to make the width the same size as the measurement of the side of the book. Next, I printed it out and cut out the shape. Now it's time to trace the stencil on the side of the book. To make it easier, you can hold the book closed with rubber bands and use tape to keep the stencil in place. Trace all around the image with a pencil. You could also freehand draw your own image if you're not using a stencil. Now the folding starts. We'll begin with the first page on the left that has a pencil mark. Notice where the mark is and you'll fold the top corner down to make a triangle. You'll want the right corner of the triangle to meet where the top of the pencil mark is. Then you'll fold the corner up from the bottom, again making the right corner of the triangle meet the bottom of the pencil mark. You'll do this for every page using the pencil marks to guide how far down you fold. You can periodically close the book and turn it to the side to check on your progress. Continue folding all the pages until you reach the end of your design. The top of my Texas was fanning out a little bit, so I clamped it at the top and let it sit overnight. Now you can see I've removed the clamp and the Texas is all done. Thanks for watching and please check out the rest of the Doherty's videos.